Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over some new gameplay features for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet that you may have missed that were revealed in the latest trailer for the Generation 9 games. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment what new gameplay feature you're you most excited about for the Generation 9 game. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the first thing that we're going to be going over is this by Centro Leaks, saying, Looks like some of the best quality of life features from Pokemon Legends Arceus, like watching the experience animation outside of battle and new moves not interrupting your gameplay, are both gone. One step forward, two steps back. So, it looks like they're including some features from Pokemon Legends Arceus in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but unfortunately, they've also scrapped a couple as well. So, the first one is um, obviously the XP share is back. Now, we don't know if you're going to be able to turn this off or on, but as you can see, um, LeChonk has just battled something and it's just gained 23 XP and LeChonk has just gained 17 XP. Um, also, I don't know where the gender thing is on Fue Coco there. I'm not sure if that just disappears when it like levels up or something. Um, but either way, yeah, so the whole XP, uh, XP animation outside of battle um, has gone. And as well as that, uh, we also have this as well. So in Pokemon Legends Arceus, when your Pokemon like learns a new move, in the on the top left hand side corner it just says like plus new move. And then obviously you go into the menu and then you can go into like moves that the Pokemon has previously learned and stuff like that. Um, however, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it just comes up mid-battle again, just says Quaxley, uh, Quaxley wants to learn the move wing attack. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to kind of like go back and learn like loads of previous moves just from the menu like we could in Legends Arceus. Or you're going to have to go to like a Pokemon Center and do it like that. Which is a little bit unfortunate because Legends Arceus just made it a lot easier and a lot more simpler just to do it like that. Uh, but yeah, it does interrupt the battle when a Pokemon is trying to learn um, a new move. Also interesting that Quaxley learns Wing Attack as well because it's been like heavily rumored that Quaxley is going to be a water fighting type. But here it is learning a flying type move. So, very interesting. Obviously, it makes sense that it gets wing attack because it has wings. But, um, yeah, it is, it's, well, I mean, it's apparently supposed to be a water fighting type. So, don't know why it's learning wing attack. I'd surely expect it to learn some sort of, like, kicking move here. Or instead, like, I don't know, like, rolling kick or something instead of wing attack. But, either way, um, that is uh, the first kind of gameplay feature to go over. The next one is this um, by PLDH. Now, I also uh, covered this recently. But, if you didn't see that video... In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon evolve on the overworld as opposed to a separate evolution screen. Now, it's not been 100% confirmed that the kind of like evolution technique is going to be the same as Pokemon Legends Arceus, where you just go into your menu and evolve a Pokemon uh, manually, which obviously is a lot easier because if you don't want a certain Pokemon to evolve and you don't have an Everstone, you have to constantly press B every single time it tries to evolve. Um, whereas if you can do it manually, it will just stay as that Pokemon. It seems that it does evolve in the overworld, which could mean that it has brought it across from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, as well as that, though, it says this screenshot also reveals that Scarlet and Violet will make use of the minimap down here. So the last time we got the minimap, I think, was in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, but yeah, we now have a minimap once again, which makes sense in an overworld, open world game. You kind of need the minimap, um, especially with how big this map seems to be. Um, so yeah, more gameplay features that you might have missed, minimap returns, and Pokemon Legends Arceus animation, um, like evolution, um, feature may also be back in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. The next thing we're going to be going over is this, again, already covered this, but if you missed it, um, basically, uh, no gym level scaling confirmed for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, you can basically battle any gym, anytime, whenever you want. Um, so you can take on, like, the quote-unquote last gym, um, first, um, I, I, it's not linear in like the way that you take on gyms, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be towns that you come across first um, that will have gyms and stuff and that you like expected to fight first. Like the first town that you come across is probably going to have a gym with like level 10s and stuff. So you'd expect to fight that first, but you don't have to. You can carry on and then go to like the final gym, which is going to have level, like level 45s and stuff. Turn up your level 5 way Coco and then try and win, which obviously is not going to go too well. But um yeah, gym level scaling is not in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It says here, there's no set path for the gyms. You can purposely seek out a stronger gym leader, or you can simply stop by a gym that happens to be located in a town you came across on your journey. This time, you get to plot your very own path along Victory Road. Um, also, the, the kind of um, champion Elite Four 
situation has been changed as well. On the website, it says the Paldea region has a Pokemon League and a special class of pro rank Pokemon trainers who have achieved the champion rank. These trainers have grown with their Pokemon to be able to dazzle audiences with their skills in battle. There are facilities called Pokemon gyms in many towns, and the leaders of these gyms are awaiting the challenge of trainers like you and your friends. So yeah, the way it seems to be that it's set out is you take on eight gyms, and then you take on this uh, this kind of like champion rank thing. It's explained on the website. So I think it's going to be Elite Four, and then instead of like just one champion it is just a random kind of like pro rank champion so like maybe every time you beat the elite four you have a different champion that you fight or something like that which i think is really cool because it makes every time you beat the elite four different um but yeah there's just a bunch of different pro rank pokemon trainers um that you have to i guess beat to become like a, a pro rank champion as well but anyway yeah, more information about the gyms, Elite 4, Champion, and then, of course, no gym level scaling there. Um, this is taken from the r slash PokeLeaks Reddit, which kind of confirms that Poor Me is going to be uh, getting a three-stage evolution, most likely. Um, now, this is obviously the new Pokedex kind of layout, which I absolutely love, by the way. I love the library theme. It looks so, so cool. Um, so here we have Magikarp, which is 100, number 134. We have Fido, which is number 76. We have Houndow, which is number 25. And then we have Poor Me over here, which is number 22. So obviously, um, Poor Me either doesn't evolve, and then it's just like another normal two-stage evolution, which is number 23 and 24. And then it goes into Houndow, which is number 25 and 26 for Houndoom. Or it means that Poor Me is going to get um, two evolutions, um, which are then, of course, uh, will be number 23 and 24. And then it goes into Houndow. So again been a lot of rumors that poor me is going to get an evolution and stuff so it seems that if it does it's probably going to be a three-stage evolution which obviously we're not used to seeing for pikachu clones but um also means that houndour is a pokemon you're probably going to see quite early on in the game too because it's number 25 in the regional decks uh fletchling is also here as well at number 19 so yeah houndour is going to be a fire type you get quite early on which is pretty nice um, but yeah, I absolutely love the Pokedex layout for these games. I think they look absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, just a bit of information there to suggest that Poor Me is going to be a three-stage evolution line. Um, but yeah, Houndour also being an early Pokemon in the game that you're probably going to be able to find. The next thing that you probably missed is this. Um, so this was posted by Liam saying, I think this guy has a Machamp, possibly uh, the PE slash health teacher. He's standing in front of the class board. So yeah, this is definitely a Machamp vibe for sure. Like he's got the same haircut as, well, Machamp doesn't have a haircut, but the same kind of like, I don't even know what these are. Like they're not spikes. They're just kind of like disc things that are coming out of his head. Has the exact same design with Machamp. Um, as the the guy does here also a very muscly dude like built like an absolute unit and which obviously machamp is as well so yeah would not surprise me um to see him own a machamp he could be a gym leader as well and if that's the case then he's going to be a fighting gym leader with machamp and probably is his like ace or something like that but yeah could just be another teacher that is like the p or health teacher obviously looks like he's in good shape and again has the same kind of machamp situation going on as well so a really good spot uh, for some reason it remembers me cleavor as well but yeah it's probably machamp his muscles made me think Machamp or a fighting type. I also think his eyes kind of have a similar shape to Machamp's maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, I can kind of see that as well. Like the eyes there. I mean, this is obviously taken from, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, oh my God, what's it called? The fighting game, uh, Pokemon. But yeah, obviously Machamp's eye kind of situation is the same. Good catch. Since I don't think we'll have a fighting type gym leader slash elite four, he could be the major fighting type trainer for the gen maybe. Um, he's anyone, has anyone seen any other teachers with name tags like this? Kind of makes him seem like a guest speaker. Guessing our uh, teachers uh, fill in the missing types when it comes to gym leaders and E4, so fairy fighting, etc. That could be a good um, that could be a good idea to be fair. So we've got all the types for the gyms, then you got your elite fours, and you got your champions, and then for the types that don't have like a gym leader or an elite four member, they're going to be like teachers that you also get to fight, and that could be like the fighting type. So yeah, if this isn't a gym leader, could just be a person that you fight at some point and has like a strong fighting type um, kind of team. So that's really really cool. Especially if Quaxley evolves into a fighting type as well. It could also have that as well as Machamp. So, yeah, there could be, like, special battles that you have to do. Maybe, like, these teachers send you out on, like, quests. And then you have to complete the quest. And then once you do it, you can then fight the teacher. Uh, but, yeah, definitely feel like this guy has some sort of resemblance to Machamp. So, probably has one if you do fight him at some point. Another thing that we're going to go over was posted by the great uh, Foxy saying, Did you notice each time they showed both game in comparison, Scarlet version looks grassier and Violet looks more um, desertic? 
Maybe the regions will be significantly different between the past and future version of it, and possibly a hidden critique about global warming and uh, desertification. Desertification. So good call. I honestly never noticed this. If I had to guess, though, they are just two different regions, and they do it for color pal uh, palette background reasons. Edit to clarify. I mean regions of the map, not two different map regions. Um, could just be different areas are used to get, uh, for each to give them some visual distinction, but I think you're onto something. My guess is that there's version exclusive sections of the world that you can visit via co-op. Right now, we don't know the main point of being in the same world together, so it could be that. I personally think it's just to create a, a sense of um, demorphism and to just be more appealing to look at. Coridon's red jumps out more against green grass. Maridon's purple pops out against brownish red rocks. The split between the green and the brown is stark, instantly making it evident there is two separate images. The characters aren't side by side. Because the two lands they're traveling are so apparently different, they're instantly groking us, so there's a big map. I think it would be really fun if the map is indeed drastically different depending on the version, but I'm skeptical based on this image alone. Uh, maybe they're trying to highlight the legendaries as Karaid and Red are more visible over grass. So, yeah, it could be that. I mean, I would absolutely love it if the regions look different depending on the version that you're in. Um, I think that would be a really, really cool kind of um, concept. And again, more version exclusivity as well. Um, but either way... A good catch and could definitely be um, could definitely be something um, to, to kind of think about going forward. And then another gameplay feature we're going to be going over today is this. So this was posted by PLDH saying some screenshots of the Rotom phone UI in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, which also gives us a look at the in-game map. The Rotom phone contains the Pokedex app as well. There's a photography theme at play and it seems every Pokemon has a wild shot in the decks. So obviously this was from the map. So this is, I think, the very beginning of the game. So we got Poco Path there, and then we got the Inlay or Inlet Grotto. Grotto. And so, I'm, yeah, I'm guessing this is where you start at the very bottom of the map. Again, going to do a massive map breakdown soon. Um, but yeah, this seems to be like the start of the map, and you've got your Rotom phone straight off the bat as well. So that's quite interesting. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the very beginning of the map. And then here we have the kind of shot from um, the Pokedex page for Lechonk, Hog Pokemon. And yeah, they seem to have like different kind of photography shots for them all which is really cool uh I, again i think this pokedex just looks insane i'm, I'm a re i'm a massive fan this is my favorite pokedex so far for sure like i love how they've all got their own kind of like unique photography uh, image and stuff for every single pokemon um but yeah either way that's another gameplay image um that you might have or gameplay feature that you might have missed or something but either way there's been quite a few again there's a lot more to go over which i'll probably do in a future video there's more leaks to go over stuff like that for pokemon scarlet and violet a lot a lot of leaks were kind of confirmed in the trailer recently um so there's a lot to kind of talk about in regards to that but then I still need to do my breakdown of the gimmick and everything, and, and there's just so much to talk about. Either way, though, that's going to be some gameplay features you probably missed in the latest trailer. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on any of these new gameplay features. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.